I think it's quite funny that, you know, the date we decided to do this right now for this podcast, you know, because the last time we were speaking, we were all just hanging out in the green room. Uh, it was you, me, Bill Burr, a few of the other comics. Uh, and then, you know, sort of all this time passes. And then, you know, last week, uh, you know, Bill gets in a little bit of hot water with the uh, Saturday Night Live monologue thing. And, you know, it's just sort of it, it, it brings this sort of idea that, oh, man, comedy is relevant again. Yeah, well, you know, it started about as far as his whole thing. What you know, him and him and Chappelle put out specials like last spring, and everyone was like, "Oh, look, they're fighting political correctness." It was like the first shots back from comedians, you know. Mm -hmm. So they were all prepared for that, you know. Because I think Chris Rock did week one in Saturday Night Live, and people were, said things, "Oh, that he shouldn't have said," or I, I, I don't remember exactly. But, you know, Burr, it's like, you know, of course he's going to rattle some feathers. So it was great. It was great. He did great. It was fantastic. Yeah, he smashed it. I mean, it was, uh, and it's also like, it, it, it's, I'm starting to, because I started thinking about this, like the whole things like, like when Gervais did the Globes and, and all that, it's, uh, it, it, it's sort of, I think it's kind of becoming a, like a semi-tradition. It's like, you know what you're going to get, like, but they keep bringing them back because, you know, the producers don't want to be you know, mean and say like, we're not going to bring you back on. But I think it's just the fans. They dig it. I mean, they like the fact that a comedian comes and will go to an uncomfortably, you know, PC crowd and will just completely tell them, you know, the, <laughs> the most crazy jokes that they can think of, or not even that crazy. And then, you know, the, the people push back, but then the people who are tired of that will push back as well. And uh, I think it's just yeah, a, beautiful, it's, um, a beautiful tug of war, you know? <laughs> Yeah, you know, somewhere in the last few years, it became a thing where like you, people weren't allowed to get offended, which yeah. is so ridiculous. You know, if you don't think something's funny, then you don't think it's funny. That's fine. That's cool. Like every, different strokes, different folks. But they want to like, you know, it, it usually they used to be like the right wingers tried to shut down free speech. Mm -hmm. Now it's like left wing people. Like, oh, my God, someone might get offended. Like to me, that's comedy. I would think people like, oh, you got you're punching down. Like, yeah. Comedy has been punching down for 5,000 years. Like punching up is the political speech. Like right. you're going to punch up, you're Martin Luther King. Like you're going to punch down, you're, you're Richard Pryor. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> that's, no, that's, 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 a, that's comedy. Comedy that's is, making, is making fun of stuff. But uh, I, as much as I liked his monologue, I thought all the sketches Bill was in were amazing. That was oh, my yeah. favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I, I, mean, I tore with Bill. So I see all the comedy, the stand up a lot. And he did, that was great. But I thought some of the sketches he was he was in was just fantastic, and I thought those pushed the envelope too, which I thought was even better, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, no. I mean, that's uh, I love that Saturday Night Live is is sort of um, uh, I guess you know it has to. It, it's if you look at some of the earlier SNL clips, I remember one of my favorite was when um, uh, it was when Eddie Murphy was uh, doing Stevie Wonder, and right. he, was, he was doing uh, Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just, it was like, Hey, Stevie, this is 1983, you know, because <laughs> it's it sort of, they always have to tap into the zeitgeist. They always have to. And I think the zeitgeist now is that they've become the show. Saturday Night Live is not just doing the show, but they've actually become the show. I mean, we saw this also when Louis did, um, when he hosted SNL uh, a few years ago, it was like 2000. 15 i think uh when yeah I, de I i definitely think his monologue was a little more controversial <laughs> oh, the, the, the pedophile monologue yeah <laughs> i think on the surface um uh, well you know it was always you know saturday Night live you know it's john belushi it's chevy chase it's like it's been it's supposed to be like you know the uh the not ready for prime time you know eddie murphy like was the original you know they was original but you know the, the mr robinson's neighborhood like it was always it was always edgy, you know. Now all of a yeah. sudden, it's not supposed to be edgy, you know. It's like it was always. I mean, Dennis Miller, you know, like it was Norm Macdonald. It's always been the edgy stuff that wins over, you know. Yeah, no, I mean, but I, but what I love about that is that even Mister Rogers loved that Mister Robinson's neighborhood sketch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, it, and what people have to, and it, 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 it's all comedy. It's comedy. Yeah. Did you laugh? You know, did you laugh? It's all that matters. Oh it yeah, seems like a lot of people did. I know everyone's really happy with it. So, well, yeah. I mean, happy. I, you know, and again, it's always like you know that that's sort of, uh, you know, that sort of idea that the people who are always going to be the ones to complain are not going to be the people you see at the comedy shows anyway. <laughs> right, right. So exactly. It's, it's, it's like if I'm sitting at home just just complaining about opera, 
It's like, I'm not going to be at the opera. So, <laughs> so why is that me, you know, having some sort of an effect on, on how they're going to be, do, you know, performing? It's it just, it doesn't make any sense. But, yeah, but exactly. I, and, and I don't even, it's so funny because, you know, from being a stand up the last 23 years, I, I barely ever watched Saturday Night Live. So, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. like the people complaining about it, like about comedy. Comedy's out on Saturdays doing late shows, you know, most yeah. comedians. So, yeah, and I mean, you, like you were saying, that people enjoyed it, and of course, uh, that's. Uh, Bill also mentioned that uh, um, I think it was on some talk show or whatever, and he's saying that well, one of the things they do is that they want to show the clip of the offensive joke, but then they never seem to cut out the part where everyone is just laughing after. <laughs> it. So right. Basically, the comic is just guilty of telling a joke that worked. Right, or like you know, back in the day, you know, when it'd be like. Um, they would say like they would just they would put in the newspaper, you know, like Tracy Morgan said this at a nightclub in you know Memphis. And it's like Tracy Morgan was performing in front of people who paid to see him. Mm -hmm. And then you're taking his one sentence out of context, you know, yeah. 